If you're a woman that believes hormones will give you cancer, let me tell you something. You believe bad news at one time. So over 20 years ago, the Women's Health Initiative released information to the press and doctors in the press made it believe, made it seem that, well, hormones had greater risks than benefits. They were wrong. What you can understand is that if somebody were to give one pill of just estrogen to all people without paying attention, without without any balance between progesterone or testosterone or individualized care, yes, that is very bad. We want individualized care for all. And yes, there is going to be variances in how we treat women because we are all different. So if you wanna say just giving a random estrogen pill to all women is bad, that is bad. And yes, if you had certain markers, yes, yes, I can see that, but listen, Hormone replacement therapy today is a balance of estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. It will save your life. It is not about uh, your vagina and it's not about your breasts. It's about your brain. It's about your soul. It's about your anxiety. It's about your skin. It's about every single organ in your body functioning with hormones. And let me tell you something. Let me reframe this. What if men lost their hormones at say 45 to 50 and their scrotum shriveled up into nothing and they had to live the rest of their life feeling subpar because of their hormones not being optimal do you think um, we'd feel differently about hormone replacement therapy do you think that it would be covered by insurance do you think that every doctor would know about it yeah so as a woman it is a health hazard to be a woman research was not based on us research thought we were like little men, tiny men. We are not tiny men. We are completely different. So I need you to hear me out and stop believing that hormone replacement therapy is the devil because it's not. Bad information is.